Hello, welcome back to the block. I am so excited for you guys to join me this week. This week we're wrapping up our series about God's character. Now I have to make one thing clear. In no way have we spoken about all of the characteristics of God. There's a lot of them. But as we learn and grow, we'll continue to discover more about him. So today, we are talking about God's universal nature. Now, the idea of universal means that it is, it is applicable in all cases or to all cases. So, welcome to the block. Again, this is a place where we get to come together wherever we may find ourselves. I'm so excited to share these thoughts and scriptures with you. Let's dive in. So again, we're talking about God's universal nature. There's something really important about this. Again, it means applicable in all cases. So oftentimes when we think universal, we think of, well, the universe, you know, the earth, the sun, the stars, all of that great stuff. But we also have to consider the people in the universe, us, humans, God's creation. Our ability to have a relationship with God is accessible to everyone. The relationship with God is not, it, it doesn't leave anybody out. It can involve everybody. You know, it doesn't matter where you come from on the world or how much money you have or, or how popular you are. God's love is for everybody. Not one single person is more or less deserving of this gift the gift of love and a relationship that God has given us. Again, a gift that he restored through his son, Jesus Christ. Now, in the Bible, in Romans chapter 3, verse 23 to 26, it says this, For everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. Yet God, in his grace, freely makes us right in his sight. He did this through Christ Jesus when he freed us from the penalty of our sins. For God presented Jesus as the sacrifice for sin. People are made right with God when they believe that Jesus sacrificed his life, shedding his blood. This sacrifice shows us that God was being fair when he held back and did not punish those who sinned in the past times. For he was looking ahead and including them in what he would do in those present times. God did this to demonstrate his righteousness, for he himself is fair and just, and he makes sinners right in his sight when they believe in Jesus. Now this verse is amazing. I love it. Because you know what it's saying? It's not saying that good works or lots of money or popularity are are the way to God. It's not saying that. We don't have to check those boxes. God is saying, if we believe in Jesus and the sacrifice that he gave for us, we have a relationship with him. All we have to do to gain that relationship, to open the door to that relationship is simply ask. God is waiting there, ready for us to ask. We've all sinned. We all fall short. Not one person is more equipped or ready for the relationship with God than any other person. So as always here on the block, we're going to join together in prayer. And just like last time, you're just going to see the screen go dark. And that's just going to allow you to just be focused. 
Now you can stare at the word on the screen or you can close your eyes, whatever you are comfortable with, but we're gonna count down from five and we're gonna pray. Five, four, three, two, one, pray. Dear Lord, I cannot even express how thankful I am that your love is universal, your relationship is universal, that I get to step into that relationship just as anyone else has that opportunity. God, you have created us for community, for relationship. And I am thankful, God, that you continue to seek that out in us. So thank you, God, for today, for anyone listening. Bless us as we go throughout our day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So guys, as always, just a huge thank you for joining me here today on The Block. I love doing these videos for you. I'm so excited to see where this adventure, this journey takes us. Keep me informed. If the block has informed you of anything, if it's taught you anything, if it's led you to pray more, please use the descriptions below or the comment boxes below to share that with me. As always, until next time, may God bless you and keep you as you go throughout your week. Take care.